For a recipient to send or receive email messages, the recipient must have an email address. And email address policies generate the primary and secondary email addresses for recipients in an exchange organisation so that they can receive and send email. Another thing that these email address policies do is they allow us to generate meaningful names and meaningful email addresses within our organisation. So the first thing we need to do is actually have a look at the email address policies already in place. So what we'll do here in our Exchange Admin Centre is we'll just come to Mailflow and then within Mailflow one of the things we have here is we have email address policies. So we'll click on email address policies and the one that we have to start with is our default policy. So let's just double click this and currently we're generating emails based off alias at whatever our company's called. Now what we want to do here is we want to do first name dot last name. So what we'll do here is we'll just go for email address format and as we can see here we're just alias at datum.com and what we'll do here is we'll just click add and what we're going to do here is we're just going to go for first name dot last name at whatever our uh, exchange domain is set to so we'll select save and as we can see now we've now got john.smith at datum.com for example but this could be becky.smith at datum.com brian.oconnor at datum.com and so on so we'll just save this off click ok at this point now and what we need to do is just apply this policy so we'll apply this to all of our users and then we'll select close now what we're going to do here is we're just going to go accept the domains here and what we want to do here is we want to create a domain called sales.adatum.com now you can't create an email address policy for a domain if it's not an accepted domain so what we'll do here is we'll just click accept domains click our add button and what we're going to do here is just create our new accepted domain so we're going to call this sales and our accepted domain will be sales.adatum.com so we'll select save at this point here now what we'll do is we'll actually create an email address policy for this domain so back to our email address policies and then what we'll do is we'll create a new one we're just going to call the sales email and we'll go for our email address format and what we're going to do here is just click on our little drop down and we're going to specify sales.adatum.com and what we're going to do here is we're just going to go for um again we'll go for the first name dot last name at the, ac the actual domain itself so we'll select save we're going to do this for all recipient types and if we scroll down here we'll just add a rule then in the rule what we'll do is we'll just click on our little drop down we'll just specify recipient container and then in the case of our recipient container here what we'll do is we'll just add in sales Select OK at this point here. And then what we'll do is we'll just preview the recipients this policy applies to. So we can see it applies to all of these users here. So we're happy with that. We'll click Close and we'll click Save. Now it's just telling us that the policy isn't active yet. We do need to apply it. So we'll just click OK. Then what we'll do is go for our sales email and click Apply. And say Yes. We'll then select close and now what we'll do is we'll just verify that this policy has taken place so in order to do that we'll just come to recipients and within recipients here what we'll do is we'll just double click on adam bar so if we go to adam now adam isn't a member of sales so he should have two email addresses he should have his alias at which he does and he should also have his one that we created when we modified the default policy for adam.bar at the datum.com so that's fine we're happy with that And then what we'll do is we'll actually check a user who is in sales and verify that they do have three email addresses. So what we'll do is just scroll down, we'll find Arlene. And if we have a look at Arlene, hopefully, or not hopefully, what we should find is we should find that she does have three email addresses. And indeed she does. She has the two from the default policy. She also has the one from the sales policy. And that's the end of this demonstration on email address policies. Thank you.